I'm Howard Bragman. Thanks for joining us today on Gwishus. We're really lucky to have some of the biggest lesbians on the net, uh, and I don't mean large, large lesbians. I mean powerful lesbians with huge followings. Uh, first of all, we have Emily Lynn and Liz Wilde, who you've hopefully seen on my Sister Gwish show, Dichotomy. And we have the beautiful and talented Ariel Scarcella. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for joining us on Gwishus today. I'm going to start with Ariel. Tell us a little about your online presence, what it is, what you what you bring to the party and what people are watching you for online. Um, I think there are a lot of lesbians online that do content, but I think I'm one of the only ones that brings a uh, humorous element to it. A lot of them talk about, a lot more of them talk about serious issues and I have, you know, the comedic spin on things, I guess, at the end, but I still deliver a good message at the end of my videos. Do you um, do you think most of your viewers are lesbian? I know that most of my viewers are lesbians, yeah. Most of them uh, are 13 to 24 year old girls that are gay probably, yeah. So you're the... 75% uh, I would say, yeah. We had Dear Abby on recently. You're the Dear Abby of, you're the lesbian Dear Abby, if you will. I guess so, yeah. I I'm more than happy to take on that role. Um, Emily and Liz, um, tell us about Dichotomy, uh, about your show, about yourselves, and you're, uh, you're together, you're a couple, yes? Yeah, we yeah. are. Uh, we started Dichotomy sort of, uh, we were lamenting the fact one night that when we were coming out that there wasn't a lot of really good quality lesbian content on the internet, you know, you're looking for things like, how am I supposed to be a lesbian, and it was all like hyper dramatic and very unrealistic and so we were like well let's put out something that we would have wanted to watch when we were coming to terms with our sexuality but let's not have it be really boring and political either so like Ariel we try to toe that line between actually saying good things but still being at least vaguely entertaining how do you guys and anybody can speak up how do we get started doing making viral videos is it, it is it just like you said that you see this void in the market and you want to stand up and say something? Yeah, I think you have to do something new, but also a lot of it has to do with something catchy, something that people are like, that sounds interesting, like a catchy title or whatever that people want to click on. That helps a lot sometimes. I think if you're making videos to go viral, it's the wrong reason to be making videos. I think you need to make videos to make because you want to make an impact even if it's for 10 people, because people on the internet, especially young kids that are mostly watching these videos, can tell the difference very quickly between someone that actually wants to help others and somebody that just wants, you know, fame. It's very, very easily distinguishable on the, on the internet. And that's why people like me and my friend Hart and Bria and Chrissy do well, well while other people, you know, kind of flounder because it's, it's, easily readable. It's very transparent, the internet, and kids are not as stupid as we think they are. Oh, some are. Stop it. Um, <laughs> Emily and Liz, um, you, you're a couple. You're a romantic couple. One of you is uh, relatively androgynous, and one is um, what we would call a femme in the community. Um, I think that's a common stereotype that lesbian couples, there's one femme and one butch, and, and yet, you know, I've seen all sorts of couples, as have you. Um, how do you feel about the androgynous or butch role and the femme role? And obviously it plays a lot into your shtick online, too, right? Right, right. We try to play up the fact that we're a dichotomy. But we do it less to lean on the stereotype and more to point out to especially young girls that are coming to terms with themselves that you don't have to be a specific way to be a lesbian. You know, there's not like a handbook and it's like, oh, I gotta wear my flannel and I gotta do this and Doc Martens every day. Like, you can be however you want to be, which is sort of what we play up. But the butch and femme is relatable for a lot of people, so I think it doesn't hurt to point it out and it doesn't offend me when people point it out either. And I'm the one wearing the plaid today. So. I know. <laughs> Uh, so you don't wear uh, flannel shirts. Um, I, I do wear flannel shirts, but I didn't wear one today. <laughs> um, is there, are there any barriers to getting on board 
online when you're a lesbian? Is it easier? Is it harder than than even a gay man would be to be online? It's 100% much more difficult to be a lesbian because lesbians are the least relatable people on the face of the planet. Yeah, that's so true. They, gay men are loved by gay men. Gay men are loved by straight women. And gay men are also loved by lesbians. The only people that tend to love lesbians are actual lesbians. And sometimes gay guys, but usually only if we're funny and not the angry type of lesbians that most lesbians tend to be. Young, young straight girls you know, love the gay boys because they relate to them because, oh, these boy problems, right? But it's young straight guys don't relate to lesbian problems. So there's that disconnect there, which is really difficult. Why, why I think it's really difficult to grow on YouTube as a lesbian making lesbian content. Because I have all the lesbians, but I don't have as much as any, you know. Yeah, even if you have all the now. lesbians. Yeah. You have all the lesbians, you'd still have less than someone who has one-tenth of the gay exactly. men. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I'm hearing lesbian anger here, ladies. Come on. Is there, is there a, like, kind of the lesbian fantasy of taking the straight chick and converting her? Oh, it's not fantasy. I'm dating one. <laughs> oh, really? Were you straight before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe I need to get a straight girl. No, I don't know. Some, some, <laughs> I, I think it might be an ego trip thing. Like, a lot of lesbians want to know that they can get the straight girl, but I'm like, Psh, I want the straight girl to want me. So it's like, I'm like the total opposite end of the spectrum here, I think. I don't have the ego. I, I want them to come to me. So. Emily and Lynn, I want to hear about this. How did we, uh, how did we turn, uh, how did we turn this <laughs> Well, I'm going to leave out some bits of the story Liz would prefer I leave out, but yeah. actually. No, uh, I don't want you to leave out anything. I want all the juicy yeah. parts. I don't have to leave it. It involves uh, four loco and a blizzard that lasted 10 days. Uh, but suffice it to say <laughs> that Liz came on to me. I did not, I had, you know, I had done my fair share of pining after straight girls and I got into college and I was like, I'm done with this. I am not going to waste my time pining after straight girls anymore. And so Liz was really cute, but I was like, she's clearly straight. I'm, I have no chance. I won't touch it. And then uh, a blizzard in a four local later, she confessed that she had a huge crush on me. And I thought, well, she'll get sober in the morning. And we'll forget all about that. But no. then she didn't. And then we dated for three and a half years. So. Oh, wow. Let me ask you, um, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about being a lesbian and people will look at a pretty lesbian and go, oh my God, you're so pretty. I didn't know lesbians were pretty. Do you find people have a lot of stupid ideas about the lesbian world and what are they? And anybody can jump in here. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I get that a lot. They're like, you're the cutest lesbian I've ever seen. Are you really a lesbian? Um... That's a big one I get. I mean, nobody looks at me and says, <laughs> <laughs> Well, not with that haircut. Yeah, I know. It's a little long now. It's That's a tall long. lesbian haircut right there. That's right. <laughs> lesbian bed death, myth or reality? I made a video about that. <laughs> totally, <laughs> total true. Totally true. I think it's true for everybody. I think it's not just lesbians, but yeah. like what we said in the video, I think it's true that girls tend to be more emotional, touchy feely, and so maybe it degrades faster. For that reason, uh, lesbians. Uh, what do lesbians bring on the second date? A U-Haul. Truth or fantasy? Well, there's a degree of truth to that. I mean, we started dating and we've been dating for three years, and we fall into that stereotype. Whereas a lot of gay guys fit the stereotype of hitting it and quitting it. You know. I'm gonna finish, Ariel. Uh, tell us where we can find you online and and a little bit about some of your most popular videos. Um, my YouTube channel, you could search youtube.com slash Ariel, A-R-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And I also have a channel called Girlfriends TV. And it's day in the life of, you know, of me and my friends in the gay scene and stuff like that. And my most popular videos? Um, Shit Straight Girls Say to Lesbians did really well. I do a lot of sex dating and relationship, relationship type videos on that channel. So those are my more popular videos. And how to get bigger boobs fast. Wasn't that a big one? How to one? get bigger boobs. Yeah, well, you know, I'm lacking in that department. So, you know. <laughs> Any more than a handful is superfluous. That's why. <laughs> Emily go. and Liz, where are we going to find you ladies online? We are on uh, Gwist TV. We don't have a, a specific channel yet, but if you look at the Dichotomy playlist, that's where we are right now. We're relatively new. We also have a Tumblr at Tumblr.com slash dichotomy on the web. Yeah. Actually, it's the opposite. It's dichotomy, yeah, it's dichotomy on the web. Oh, okay. Tumblr.com. <laughs> oh, <interwebs. laughs> 
Listen, I want to say thank you to, uh, now I know why you guys are stars. You're amazing. Ariel Scarcella, Emily Lynn, and Liz Wilde, thanks for joining us today with our lesbian YouTube star show here on Gwishues. Like this week's Gwishues? Click now to view more. Be sure to check out what celebrity Randy Rainbow is catching up with here. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.